Hi YouTube, today I'm going to open up my Bitcoin mining machine, which I've just got in the mail. Just opening it up here, which I'm going to set up with my Raspberry Pi, which I've got back there. So, just getting the box open. So, I've bought a Butterfly Labs 5 Giga Hashing Butterfly Labs. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So that's uh, that's the mining machine right there. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, here's the power pack. Okay, so it's got a US adapter, but I've emailed them and they said yeah, it would go to 240. So I've got an adapter. I've got an adapter over here. I'll plug that in. It does one uh, 100 to 240 two amps. Okay, and then, so I've got that. There's the USB to connect it. As I said, I'm gonna do it with the Raspberry Pi, and in this white box is my power pack. Uh, so I'll need that. But of course, the whole thing with the Bitcoin mining machine is making sure that it's profitable. So I've also got a power meter so I can tell uh, that it's uh, not drawing more power uh, than it's worth making Bitcoin. So what I'll do is uh, I'll start putting all this stuff together and uh, I'll show you in a few minutes what it looks like. All right, so I'm back. I've uh, plugged in all the different bits and first let's go through the hardware, what's involved here. So as I said before, this is the uh, Bitcoin mining machine, Butterfly Labs. It's the uh, Jalapeno 5 Giga Hashing machine that I bought. Uh, I showed unwrapping that a few minutes ago. I don't know if you can hear it on YouTube, but it's very, very noisy. Anyways, um, running back here is the uh, power pack for it, and that's plugged in uh, right here into a, uh, into a power board. Now the other plug that you can see here is uh, plugged into my Raspberry Pi, which is running uh, a Wi-Fi dongle, and of course, to the Bitcoin miner. The other thing that you can see here uh, is the power meter that I showed earlier. And I've plugged that into another power bar so that uh, so basically so it's on the desk and so it's easy to read rather than having it in behind the desk uh, in a difficult space to reach. Uh, I've had it running for uh, a little while now and I can tell you that uh, the setup was actually easier than I thought. Well, I won't go through it on the screen with you. Uh, what I thought I'd do is just quickly run through uh, the instructions and you'll see them below. Uh, but basically it's... Uh, as simple as installing the dependencies. Once you've got the dependencies, you have to uh, install CG Miner, which again is easier to use than I thought it would be. Uh, once that's configured uh, specifically for the uh, type of mining machine that you're using, uh, all you have to do is uh, a couple little uh, steps to set it up into the mining pool. The mining pool actually took longer to set up than, uh, than the hardware or the software side of it. Once you've got a mining pool, uh, it's really simple. You just do a, a simple line, CG miner minus O. Then you tell it what pool, uh, what your username and what your password are. Uh, it's really that simple. You should have it all set up in no time. Uh, it's not generating heaps of money. Now, by the time you watch this video and uh, God knows how far into the future we are, uh, I can tell you uh, this setup costs about um, $350 US. Uh, at the moment, it's generating about a uh, dollar eighty uh, U.S. a day, uh, so it'll take about uh, what's that? Nearly two hundred days before we've um, we paid it off. Uh, and don't forget, the mining uh, protocol for Bitcoin is only going to get more and more difficult. So uh, it'll be more and more difficult to mine as time progresses forward. So I suspect it'll take about a year to pay it off. So I don't know, you know, it's not really the get-rich-quick scheme you might have thought it was, or that I th certainly thought it was, but it is a great use of a Raspberry Pi and a great little computer science experiment if uh, you're interested in setting one up. Of course, I've learned heaps about Bitcoin in the process, uh, how it works, what it's doing, and what this box is doing. And it is fascinating stuff. I do highly recommend the read. Um, if you have any questions, you can post them below. Uh, I think it's all pretty straightforward. Um, what I should do 
Uh, and I'll do this after it's running for uh, a day or so, is I'll put a graphic on screen now, telling you how much it's costing to run per day. Uh, of course, it'll vary depending on which region you're in, but the cost of kilowatt hours for me and the cost of running this will determine how long I get to run it for. So there it is, my Bitcoin mining machine with my Raspberry Pi. Uh, neat little project. Uh, expensive, probably won't return as much money as we thought. Uh, but hey, it's a, it's a fun little hobby piece and um, definitely something to talk to the friends about. Again, if you have any questions, post them below. Please like the video. Uh, subscribe so you can catch future updates and future projects that I have going on. Um, and of course, there's now a donate button below. If uh, you like the software or any of the videos that I provide, uh, please uh, donate to me on PayPal. And uh, basically, I'll use the money directly to buy more stuff for the Raspberry Pi and make more videos. Thanks again.